Hey YouTube, I thought I'd do a really quick video here on this uh, uh, article that this uh, lady did on UN bullies uh, confirm conspiracy. And uh, apparently, uh, this lady is complaining that she flew all the way to uh, the India to do a uh, story on a tobacco conference at the UN. And uh, the journalists got thrown out. They wouldn't let them uh, uh, do the story. You can see here, they're hustling people out of here. She's all surprised and she's all upset. And she's saying that she did this in our tax dollars. And she's complaining that, uh, you know, our blood would boil as soon as we heard this. Well, yeah, our blood's boiling, but uh, at least my blood's boiling, but not for the reasons that she states. Uh, the thing is, is, uh, Unless you've been living under a rock, it's pretty clear that uh, the UN is a satanic, Luciferian organization. And um, here is uh, a quote from David Spangler with the UN. It says, no one will enter the United Nations, excuse me, no one will enter the uh, New World Order unless he or she uh, will make a pledge to worship Lucifer. And, um, you know, of course, David Spangler is with the UN. Uh, so, you know, a quick little search will show that. And then, uh, real quick, also, there's numerous videos that have been done on it as well. So, I mean, you know, I am so sick and tired of people getting their, ha their hands on our tax dollars. And, um, you know, just basically wasting our money. I mean, I made a comment on on the post that um, three little short comments here. I said, one, why would the taxpayer have to pay for your trip to the UN and do a news story? No one asked me or I would have said, hell no, pay for it yourself. Two, it's common knowledge unless one has been living under a rock that the UN is a Luciferian satanic organization and as same is true, they obviously have little to no interest in assuring the disclosure of the actual truth. This especially since Lucifer, which is the head of same, is the father of all lies. Three, so here's an idea. Go and get yourself a copy of the King James Bible and start reading same, as it's all in the book. That way, you actually have a clue and stop wasting taxpayer dollars, as I'm more than sure that you don't share your profits with the taxpayers now do you just saying much love to you in christ so that's it i mean you know how in the world are these people getting getting their hands on our taxpayer dollars to run all over the globe doing news stories uh, i don't get it when they don't share their profits with us uh, uh, you know hey somebody somebody please explain that to me okay you know i'm sick and tired of the taxpayers paying for everything you know, this is a real sore spot with me. I mean, you know, how many vacations did Obama go on at the taxpayer's expense? You know, last one I heard was like $3.6 million. No wonder we're broke. I mean, it's, it's insane. So with that, have a great day. Love you. If we can do anything for you, please let us know. Take care now. Bye-bye.